Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Pierre Henri Dupont from Ankama, looking at Hen House Havoc. Uh, looks like a hidden movement or a programming type game, but yeah, not exactly, Eric. Not exactly. Um, we'll see Just that. So uh, we are in the little old farm, and the animals are going crazy over the eggs. Okay. They want to catch and to have eggs before the farmers uh, wake up. Okay. And go collect the eggs. So we will see how how it happens. Okay. Um, so, each animal has a general, that is you, okay. and has an army. So you have pigs, rabbits, moles, for example. And first thing is that we have a field in the middle mm -hmm. that uh, you have as many times as the number of players. So there, there should be four here, but as That's place right. is limited, we only have two. And each player will place his unit uh, in its bunker. Mm -hmm. So that's the position of um, his unit in the battlefield. Okay, is, okay. and is that on each of the four fields Ex exactly. that you would have here? Uh, you, you only have one field. Right, but it's representing all of the fields yeah. right here. Uh, okay. The field is representing one part of the four fields. Okay. Each, field, each um, field in the bunker represents one field in the middle. Okay. So you have the land that is separated, uh, spread among all the different types of animal. Uh, the game is played in two phases. First is the targeting one. You have units uh, that are on cards, and they will allow you to shoot at the, the other lands, okay. like in Battleship. Okay. Uh, so you will target spaces, uh, depending on uh, the unit you choose, you have different ways of um, of shooting. And when every player has chosen a unit and uh, place target tile on the board, we will resolve them and see what did it and what didn't. Okay. Uh, when it does hit, we can see an explosion, so, so we let it like that. If it doesn't hit, we have crater tokens. And usually when it hits, you also have additional effect. Here, with the sprayer, if it hits, it also explodes everything around. Okay. Uh, when a unit is destroyed, so you won't be able to use it anymore, you have to place the unit destroyed um, on the board. And as you can see, some of the units carry eggs. So, I will put an egg here. Every... Um, army that has participated to the destruction of the unit will earn sheaves that are coins. Uh, here you earn five sheaves per uh, cell you did target. Right. And eggs can be bought for 25 sheaves. Okay. Uh, you also have wild eggs you can buy but for uh, no per price. They are more expensive. Each time you buy an egg, you also get to choose a secret weapon. Secret weapon can be permanent and one or one time use. For example, you can have a nuclear strike that allows you, instead of shooting with one of your units, to put a very big tile to destroy the opponent board. Or you have permanent effect, like your eggs cost uh, an additional five sheaves instead of uh, the 35 and the game ends when a player um, collects five different heads. Okay. About the units behind here, what are we doing with them? Uh, those units represent where they do stand on the battlefield, so you can uh, see whether, for example, if this bunker, uh, this tile represents this one, mm -hmm. I'm the green player, I target the tile that is here, nine, we will know that it's a it. Okay. So all I'm doing, I'm not using any... Uh, I, I am not using these to go out onto the field and do anything. No. I'm just trying to have my forces. Yeah, secure. they just represent where your unit stands okay. on the field. Okay. Um, and yeah, thanks to that, you can tell if people eat or if they miss. Mm -hmm. And um, then, yeah, the purpose is to try to each unit, or if a unit has been hit by someone else, you will try to shoot just next to it because you earn coin if you plus additional damage to that unit. Yeah, well. exactly. Okay. All right, all right. I think I finally got it here. Down here.
So thank you for the overview. Yeah, I know it's it's hard with a small demo space yeah. to get the full range here and the nuclear capacity of, <laughs> of barnyards. It's not normally represented on the table, but thank you for the thank overview. You.